Hey, I'm Rachel, the CEO of Intrinio. In this video, I'm gonna tell you why accessing IPO data is a super critical part of any investment strategy or investment app. Trust me when I say that you do not wanna be missing this data from your repertoire. Let's start with a quick overview of IPOs. IPO stands for Initial Public Offering. It's a process where a private company becomes a publicly traded company by offering its shares to the public for the first time. During this process, the company starts trading publicly on a stock exchange, generating stock price information, fundamental data, and loads of other important information that, for the first time ever, is made available to the public. So why do we care about IPOs? Most investors like to keep a pulse on company IPOs because it can have significant impacts on security price movements, company valuations, comps, and investment portfolios. Some investors just like to be able to check in and view this data on a website, but others will integrate this information programmatically into their trading algorithms, personal dashboards, or investment software. So what is an IPO API? Fintech developers, quants, and traders are often on the lookout for an IPO API. API stands for Application Programming Interface. APIs are commonly used by developers and engineers to directly connect to a database or a source of data. By using an API, these developers can efficiently and systematically query, store, or display data inside of any application. APIs are typically supported by documentation that helps you understand syntax and learn how to construct API calls to query data. IPO data typically includes the name of the relevant company like Apple, the company ticker like AAPL, and any upcoming and historical IPOs. An IPO API will deliver critical IPO information via API to any of your end users. Okay, now that you understand what an IPO API is, where is this data coming from? As part of the IPO process, companies must file certain forms with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, or the SEC. The main form that a company files with the SEC for an IPO is Form S-1. This form is also known as the Registration Statement under the Securities Act of 1933. Form S-1 contains important information about the company, such as its business model, financial statements, and risk factors. It's designed to help potential investors make informed decisions about whether or not to invest in the company. In addition to Form S-1, the company may also file other forms with the SEC as part of the IPO process. For example, it may file Form 8K to report any material events that occur after the Form S-1 is filed, but before the IPO is completed. Companies may also file Form 10Q or Form 10K to provide updates on its financial performance after the IPO. At Intrinio, we offer standardized, cleaned up data from the 10Ks and 10Qs via our fundamentals packages through our API. Overall, filing forms with the SEC is an important part of the IPO process. It helps ensure that investors have access to accurate and transparent information about the company before deciding whether to invest. In addition to SEC forms, IPO data is often reported with the exchanges, and you can find some of it directly via websites like NASDAQ's. Next, we will cover why getting IPO data via an API is so powerful. First of all, it is technically possible to source IPO data directly from the sources we've talked about, but it does come with significant challenges. Sources like the SEC don't provide API access, support, or any other supplementary data that you are likely to need. Subscribing to an IPO API provider means that you don't have to scrape or manually type in data, and you won't have to worry about keeping the data updated over time and checking different websites for fresh information. This type of activity can take a lot of time, resources, and energy away from your core business. If something looks wrong on one of the websites, you won't have anyone to contact with questions about your issues. A good IPO API provider will provide support to you. If you try to source this data on your own or through your engineering team, you're going to likely end up with multiple integrations since most financial data consumers use more than just one type of data. If you need stock prices, fundamental data, ETF information, options data, or anything else, you're going to need to manage multiple providers. Working with an IPO API from a reputable partner is like visiting a one-stop shop for all your data needs. Okay, so how do you get IPO data from Intrinio's IPO API? I've got great news for you. We offer a powerful, high quality and affordable IPO API. It's available as part of our bronze, silver and gold fundamentals packages, and it includes all upcoming and historical IPOs. We offer instant chat support, robust documentation, software development kits in all major languages. Our team is highly skilled and ready to support your integration. 
we will make sure that your IPO data is flowing flawlessly. If you're interested in getting access to Intrinia's IPO API, please request a consultation, chat with us on our website, or sign up for an account and start a free trial all on your own. As we like to say at Intrinio, we can't wait to see what you build with our IPO API. If this video was helpful, please like it and subscribe to our channel for more fintech and financial data content. Thanks for listening.